Howdy folks, this is Big Sam. Welcome back to the Mosin Museum. Today, I'm putting out a public service bulletin because I've seen a lot of people, even in 2024, which really surprises me, um, that are still, you know, drilling and tapping their Mosins for scope mounts. And, you know, there's nothing inherently wrong with that. Um, a lot of people really don't like it when you take some old sort of collectible rifles and you start drilling and you know ruining the collector value you know mosins are a little bit different right because generally for the most part you've got um you know like this example here this is a you know a world war ii era 9130 rifle and you know there's really nothing special about it in fact there's a lot of things that aren't special about it it's got a lot of rust and all this stuff here. So honestly, something like this, it's a great candidate to kind of make into a fun project and give the rifle some, some new life. So I really don't have a problem with it. However, there are options. If you want to put a scope on a Mosin, um, and there's a lot of different types of Mosins out there, you, you've got options. And that's really what I want to talk about today. If you want to put a scope on your Mosin, you don't have to drill and tap it, right? Now... There's a lot of pros of actually not drilling and tapping it, and we're going to talk about some of that today. Again, if you already got a Mosin that's drilled and tapped, or if you've already done that, you know, I'm not mad at or, or anything like that. I just want to put this out there so if someone's interested or thinking about doing that, I just want to make sure you know all your options. Today, we're really talking about a company called Bad Ace Tactical. And I've made a video or two in the past, but it's been a while. So I wanted to do another one just to talk about this in case a lot of folks just haven't had a chance to look at some of these yet. And again, we're going to talk about some advantages of doing this. Now, there's a couple of different style mounts you can get with Bad Ace Tactical. The one we're looking at here goes on a 9130, and it doesn't require any permanent modifications to the rifle. You notice there's no... Um, holes in the receiver at all the way this works is you've got um your pinhole in the rear sight base that you can um retain the mount with that way and then you have an additional screw back here that we're looking at which all that the way that works is there's a little base and you can actually see that middle base sitting in there and there's a little lip and it sits underneath there which holds it tight underneath the actual sight base and it's threaded and then so you put your little screw in here and it threads into that and and of course it binds up against the receiver here and it's a really solid lockup i mean this thing isn't going anywhere um and there's also another great advantage of doing this um which is also another thing i think a lot of people don't think about if you're going to drill and tap your rifle to put a scope on it, typically the way that works is, um, at least a lot of the time, there's a, there's different mounts, but uh, up until recently, at least, a really common one was the ATI mount, and you'd put two screws, one back here and one kind of further up in the receiver. Uh, there's a couple problems with that. you got to be careful for one, because if you, dr if you drill this front hole too far up, you can actually drill it into the chamber, and you don't want to do that because if you fire the rifle, it's unsafe and will actually blow the, the screw at very high speeds. Out of, that, not good. So that's one potential issue that you can run into there. The other thing, though, is alignment. Um, if you're having two screws here, they got to be alignment. Otherwise, you know, your, your mount might be slightly off one way or another and may not be kind of concentric with the actual bore. So what Bad Ace Tactical actually guarantees a perfect bore alignment with these uh, mounts, which is honestly a huge pro that we don't think about enough. So there really is a lot of benefit here. Uh, the other nice thing about this Bad Ace Tactical uh, scope mount is that you could put almost any kind of scope you want to on here. Um, and what do I mean by that? Well, let's look at this other one here, which I've got on this m38 style uh, rifle over here this is a different kind of mount also a no drill it works the same way it's just shorter and it's further up unfortunately bad ace tactical doesn't make this longer style rail type that fits on the carbines if you want to put one on a carbine you're stuck with these smaller ones which really limits your options to the long eye relief 
Um, and, you know, long eye reliefs are, I mean, I, I would say they're kind of less common, right? Um, generally, if you have a scope or some kind of optic, it's going to have a much shorter eye relief, uh, which is going to work better on something like this. Now, the pro of this mount is that you don't need a bent bolt handle. Um, you can use your standard uh, Mosin bolt handle without having to modify it. So just honestly from that, this out of the box makes this thing really quick to set up. Um, and I have Archangel stocks on both of these rifles here. But it is important to note, you don't need an aftermarket stock. You can put these uh, scope mounts, both of these, on a rifle with the uh, wood stock, whatever kind it has, the original stock, and you don't have to modify the stock at all for it to fit. Very nice. These give you a lot of flexibility. Now, if you are going to go with this scope mount, the short eye release scope mount with a longer rail here, um, one of the things you're going to need to do is you're going to need to install a bent bolt handle. So there's a couple ways you can do that. Um, typically, a lot of people will just cut this whole handle off. And then there's kits where you can drill in here and it'll go all the way down like that. Or um, you could be a little more hillbilly like this guy where they basically just weld on, which looks like, that honestly looks like, like a seat buckle from an... 84 Buick Regal, I don't really know, um, but it works, right? So the point is, it's gotta be small enough to fit under, then you see this guy fits just fine. But if I took this bolt and tried to fit it on this one, it's not gonna close. This guy is gonna be sticking up and it's gonna hit the rail and you're not gonna be able, it, you're not gonna have a good day. So you gotta have one of these. That's really the only con of this, but let's face it. Even with the, one of those typical scope mounts that you're going to drill and tap the receiver for, pretty much all of those, you're going to need a bent bolt handle for also. So I don't really consider that a con so much as just something that you're going to have to be aware of if you're thinking about getting one of these Bad Ace Tactical scope mounts. You're going to have to sink some additional money into getting one of these. Um, and unfortunately, there's not really any companies that I know of that sell a whole ready-to-go uh, bent bolt handle kit that, that you're not going to have to do any install on. Um, you might be able to find one on the good old flea bay, but generally uh, you're going to have to buy a kit and do the install yourself or pay somebody to do it. So a little bit annoying, but once you get it in there, uh, it's worth it. it. It works and it works pretty well. So if you haven't already, go check out Bad Ace Tactical. Um, they even have a mount similar to this that works on the original a Konovalov style um, rear sight. So if you've got an older, uh, like a Finnish Mosin or an older Mosin and your eyes are getting more tired but you'd like to still shoot it, you can install one of these bad boys without having to permanently uh, alter the rifle. And so you don't have to worry about damaging the collector value. They even make mounts uh, like these for uh, M39 Finnish rifles. So I think that's pretty cool because you could really get the most out of them. Those are those rifles are already so accurate out of the box. I think the limitation there is really the shooter. So I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video, taking a look at some really cool scope mounts from Bad Ace Tactical. And again, there are a lot of good options out there. So before you you know go ahead and drill and tap your Mosin, just make sure you understand what all your options are and that you're choosing the option that works best for you. If you have any questions, make sure to email us. I try to put our email down in the description of every video. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you guys have any prayer requests. And we'll see you next time.